punches. I'd rather not have a fist fight with his door. Do you mind? Not at all. It's a shame the mechanism's damaged. Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. I suppose it got a lot of use. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Sienna gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Sienna does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Sianna gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rieta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Sianna and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the Land of a Thousand Fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here. A specialist in illusions. Which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables, and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew. But his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Blood is damned, or cursed. What's accuser? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. This might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, 
Anna Henrietta tossed Sienna into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? Miniature tableware. And plush toys. Cute. A tin knight. A tin knight. Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by a lazy chambermaid. Locked. Hmm. it? Let's see. <sighs> Expecto Ludum. Regis? Regis! Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. Let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread! <laughs> Hands off my hearth, dearie. You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it! Who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. 
But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice, and you'll make a tasty morsel. Just as soon as I catch you. <laughs> You put that key. Listen, I... How'd you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Sienna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. Have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy. Beans? What beans? <clears throat> Try not to interrupt. Well, Jack, where are they? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but... but I haven't got them. Oh, something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarietta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves. He should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? Came to free you. Nice of you, but a waste of your effort. I plan to free myself. You might, you might not. Bound to be easier with my help, as our most recent adventure amply showed. Mm-hmm. Yet I still don't know why you even give it down. It's Deadlof. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadlof, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Deadloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. 
My life is full of surprises, isn't it? Well, normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Deadlock was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you. Ran free of Kraden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. Since you brought it up, the knights Dedloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Durak, Lacroix, Perek, Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm-hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulaik had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. This place... Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. But you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack. Climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Hmm. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. We needn't fret. Time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, yet outside mere minutes will have passed. Watch out! Pixies! Friendliest pixies I've met. We were put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. 
Catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? Rather not. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't, when they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing, and besides, watch out! Wolves! This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Help! Wolves! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that! Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human! The most human human in the land of a thousand fables! Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, reverses the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah. Fine. Let's get to work. <laughs> 